Good evening, everybody. I'm C.J. Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. A replica piece of our maritime coastal history arrives in two weeks. And News Channel reporter John Palminteri joins us live with that. John, it's just one of many Fiesta experiences coming to the Santa Barbara waterfront. Yeah, it's going to be very exciting down here. The public will see the replica of a ship dating back to 1542, the San Salvador. When it comes into the Santa Barbara Harbor on Fiesta Week, on August the 4th to pay a visit. From the time of discovery of the Santa Barbara shores and Channel Islands in 1542, led by Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo comes a replica of his ship, the San Salvador. It's set to appear here for Old Spanish Days on August 4th. On exhibit at the San Diego Maritime Museum now, it will head north in two weeks. This ship is very unique. It's very high on the bow, very high on the stern. That was for protection against attacks. It also had no sleeping quarters below deck. There was live animals down there below. You won't get to go below on this one, but you'll see the very, very limited sleeping quarters on the main deck. A Chumash welcome will greet the vessel at 10.30 in the morning with a paddle out in a traditional tamal. Tribal participation in Old Spanish Days has been part of the all-inclusive commitment by the Old Spanish Days leaders. The tamal was featured in the 2016 poster. The Chumash were one of four seafaring native communities from Alaska to Chile. In fact, the Chumash were known for that throughout this area, one of the most advanced indigenous groups throughout Alta California at the time of Cabrillo's first sighting here in 1542. We bring it in, we do trades. That was our main purpose of how we did most of our trading is by using the tamal to go out and catch our fish, catch our shells, whatever we needed, and getting to the islands and back and forth. The great vantage point will be anywhere along West Beach and also going out on Stern's Wharf to see that, that welcoming of the Shumash with Cabrillo and his ship, the San Salvador, on that Friday. Once the San Salvador makes it into the harbor, there'll be a special docking area right here on the north side of the city pier and just across from where the Coast Guard cutter Blackfin is docked. Public tours of the San Salvador will take place throughout the Fiesta weekend. Tribal members will also be part of El Desfile Historico, the waterfront Fiesta parade on Cabrillo Boulevard. Mike cousins are going to ride with me in the parade and my great grandson and it's an honor to be here. I uh, appreciate the thought of our family and we're representing our elders. Old Spanish Day says it's going to be so exciting down here for all the reasons. We have the San Salvador ship coming in which is going to be very exciting inside the harbor and the waterfront. There's going to be their Mercado de la Mar uh, over in the parking lot of Santa Barbara City College with rides and food booths and more. The first time that's happened. And of course, the parade's going to be on Cabrillo Boulevard. And that's going to be extending all the way down to Milpa Street. And that'll be at high noon on Friday the 4th, the same day that the ship comes into the harbor. Reporting live along Cabrillo Boulevard, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. Talking about Fiesta already, August, We're just about, just yeah. around the corner. I want to check in now with our chief forecaster, Annika Abbott.